What is demand? The demand refers to the quantity of goods or services that consumers are willing and able to purchase at various prices during a given period of time. Demand is desire backed by ability to pay and willingness to pay. Example, a poor man wishes to have a car. His wish or desire for a car will not constitute a demand for the car as it is not backed by ability to pay for it. Thus a desire becomes a demand if it is backed by ability to pay and willingness to pay. Mere desire for a commodity does not constitute demand for it if it is not backed by the ability to pay and willingness to pay. When the person desiring is willing and able to pay for his desire, the desire is changed into demand. Demand for a good is consumer's attitude and reaction towards that good. Consumers demand goods because goods satisfy the wants of consumers. The desire for a good by a person depends upon the want satisfying power he expects to obtain from it. The greater the want satisfying power he expects from a good, the greater his desire for that good. Determinants of Demand Demand changes as a result of changes in price. Individuals demand for a commodity depends on the price of that commodity. It also depends on other factors. These are factors other than price which have an influence on demand. Individual demand for a commodity can be expressed mathematically. QD is equal to F of PX I PR T A where PX is equal to price of the commodity I income of the individual PR price of related commodities T taste and preferences of the individual A advertisement expenditure made by the producers of that commodity. Demand depends on many other factors too. Demand of a commodity depends on its price. Demand depends on many other factors too. Determinants of demand are the factors which determine demand for goods. Determinants of demand 1. Price of the commodity when price of a commodity falls, the consumer can buy more quantity of the commodity. Hence, demand rises. There is another reason. When the price of a commodity falls, it becomes relatively cheaper than other goods. Hence, new consumers will come and the demand rises. Similarly, when the price rises, demand falls. There is inverse relationship between price and demand. 2. Income of the people. The demand for goods depends upon incomes of people. The greater their income, the greater will be their demand for goods. The greater income means the greater purchasing power. Therefore, when incomes of people increase, they can afford to buy more. When the incomes of the people fall, they would demand less of the goods. For example, there is a drought in a year and agricultural production falls. Then incomes of the farmers decline. They demand less of goods in that year. Demand falls due to fall in income. 3. Changes in the prices of the related goods. The demand for a good is affected by the prices of substitutes or complements. For example, tea and coffee are close substitutes. When coffee becomes cheaper, the consumer substitutes coffee for tea. 
As a result, the demand for tea declines. Let us take another example. Cars and petrol, they are complementary with each other. When price of cars falls, the demand for them will increase, which in turn will increase the demand for petrol. 4. The number of consumers in the market. The greater the number of consumers for a good, the greater the market demand for it. 5. Changes in the propensity to consume. If people's propensity to consume rises, then out of the given income, they would spend a greater part of it. Then the demand of the goods will rise. If propensity to save of the people increases, then propensity to consume declines. Then the consumers would spend a smaller part of their income on goods. Then the demand for goods will decrease. 6. Consumers' expectations with regard to future prices. If consumers expect that in the near future prices of goods would rise, then they would demand greater quantities of goods. Then the present demand for the goods will increase. 7. Income distribution. The propensity to consume of the rich people is less than that of the poor people. If distribution of income is more equal, then the propensity to consume of the society will be relatively high, which means greater demand for goods. If distribution of income is more unequal, then propensity to consume of the society will be relatively less. Consequently, the demand for consumer goods will be comparatively less. Law of Demand the law of demand expresses the functional relationship between price and quantity demanded. This is a generalization about demand. Other things being equal, the demand for a good increases with a decrease in price and decreases with an increase in price. There is inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. The term other things being equal implies that the determinants of demand remain constant. It means that the prices of related goods, income of the consumers, tastes and preferences of the consumers, etc. are assumed to be constant. In other words, if these other factors which determine demand also undergo a change, then the inverse price demand relationship may not hold good. That is, the demand may increase with the rise in price or the demand may remain constant with the rise in price. Thus, the constancy of these other things is an important assumption of the law of demand. Logic behind law of demand. When price falls, the quantity demanded of a commodity rises. When price rises, the quantity demanded of a commodity falls. Why? 1. Income effect. When price of a commodity falls, some money will be left with the customer after buying the same amount of the commodity due to its lower price. As a result, consumers' real income or purchasing power increases. This induces the consumer to buy more of that commodity. This is called income effect of the change in price of the commodity. This is one reason why a consumer buys more of a commodity whose price falls. 2. Substitution effect. The other important reason why the quantity demanded of a commodity 
rises as its price falls is the substitution effect. When the price of a commodity falls, it becomes relatively cheaper than other commodities. This induces the consumer to substitute the commodity whose price has fallen for other commodities which have now become relatively expensive. The above reasons are for an individual consumer. Market has many consumers. The above reasons are true for the market also. There is an additional reason too. New customers. When the price of a commodity is relatively high, only few consumers can afford to buy it. When the price of a commodity falls, many consumers who previously could not afford to buy shall now begin to purchase the commodity. Thus, when price of a commodity falls, the number of its consumers increases. This increases the market demand for the commodity. Exceptions to the law of demand. Law of demand is generally valid in most of the situations. However, there are two exceptions. One, goods having prestige value, conspicuous goods. For some consumers, the greater the price of a commodity, the greater its utility. Example, diamond. When price of diamonds goes up, the demand will rise. Two, different goods. Giffen observed that when the price of bread increased, the low paid British workers purchased more bread. When the price of bread went up, it caused a large decline in the purchasing power. They consumed a diet of mainly bread. They were forced to cut down the consumption of meat and other more expensive foods. Since Bread was still the cheapest food. They consumed more of it. They consumed more of it. Such goods which exhibit direct price demand relationship are called Giffen goods. False exceptions to the law of demand. There are some other exceptions to the law of demand which are only apparent and not genuine. 1. Future expectations about prices. In this case, applying the law of demand is not valid. Consumers' expectations with regard to future prices is a factor determining the demand. Law of demand is applicable only when other factors remain constant. 2. Business cycles. In prosperity periods, consumers buy more even at high prices. Demand for goods decreases at the time of depression. This is also not an exception to law of demand. This is because of change in income of the people which is assumed to be a constant while applying the law of demand. Branded goods. When a commodity is sold under two brand names whose prices greatly differ. It is often found that some people demand high priced brand more than the low priced one, although they are almost identical. However, this is not a real exception to the law of demand because consumers think that they are two different commodities. Hence, they should be regarded as two different commodities for analyzing their nature of demand. Ignorance. Consumers demand larger quantity of a good even at higher price because they may be ignorant of the ruling price of the commodity. They think that expensive commodities are of better quality. 
the law of demand has been derived assuming consumers to be rational and knowledgeable about market conditions. Hence, law of demand cannot be applied on such consumers. This is a false exception. The above four exceptions to the law of demand are only apparent and not genuine. They are false exceptions to the law of demand.